Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that this sequence converges to zero, one as n approaches infinity using the definition of convergence. So let me recall the definition of convergence. So we say that, say, p sub n converges to L if for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find some positive integer, so there exists an n in the set of positive integers, such that for all little n bigger than capital N, the distance between p sub n and l can be made arbitrarily small, smaller than epsilon. Here our distance function is the Euclidean distance, so the Euclidean norm, and you'll see what that is uh, in the proof. So it's the same definition uh, as you would have in if you had sequences of real numbers. Here we have a sequence of ordered pairs, that's the only difference. So the proofs are a little bit more complicated, but not, not too bad. So I haven't done this problem, so let's try to figure it out, and then we'll go through the proof. So scratch. So to figure it out, we need to look at the distance between this and this. So we're going to look at the magnitude, uh, or the distance, of this and this, 0, 1, just like that. So if you subtract this, 1 over n minus 0, you get 1 over n. It's pretty cool. I like these problems. And this minus this would be n, n plus 1, minus 1. So far, so we want this to be less than epsilon, right? This is our L, this is our L, this is our piece of N, this is our L. The goal is to make it less than epsilon. So let's go ahead and, and do some math here. This is equal to the magnitude of one over N, comma. This is really N minus N plus one over N plus one, right? I skipped a step here, but it's N plus one over N plus one, which is one. So it's N over this minus this over this, which is one. So skipping a step, this is equal to 1 over n, and then these cancel, so you just get negative 1 over n plus 1. This is equal to the square root, this is where the norm comes in, and you square each of the components, this is 1 over n squared, plus negative 1 over n plus 1 squared. So this is equal to square root, 1 over n squared, plus 1 over n plus 1 squared. Again, we want to make this less than epsilon. It'd be really nice if that one was gone. So what I'll do is this. I'll say this is less than square root. Keep this one here, and then we'll get rid of this one. We can do that because this fraction is smaller than this fraction, so we can, we can drop it. You can, make, you can do that, and then you add these, and you just get 2 over n squared. There's your square root. This is the square root of 2 over n. You want this to be less than epsilon, so you just put it there. Multiply by n, so we get square root of 2 less than n epsilon. Divide by epsilon, so n great. I don't know why I'm saying it that way, epsilon. And that's what we want our n to be. So if we choose an n that's bigger than this, everything in the proof um, should work out nicely. So let's go ahead now and go back to the proof. But let me just go over how I figured it out again, because I just figured it out like on the spot right now. And so let me just go over it again. So basically, you want this to be true, so you write it down. That's your L. That's always your L. And then you just subtract the components. So 1 over n minus 0 is 1 over n. This minus this is this. This is really n plus 1 over n plus 1. So I got n minus n plus 1. Boom, there it is. And then we simplified it. This is just the definition of the norm. And so we got here. The negative goes away. To go from here to here, I drop the 1, right? Because this fraction is smaller than this one because the denominator here is bigger. I did that so I could add them up. Got here, took the square root of n, square root of 2, want to be less than epsilon, multiply by n, divided by epsilon, we are there. So let's do the proof. So to do the proof, we'll start by letting epsilon be greater than 0. So let epsilon be greater than 0. And given any real number, we can choose a number that's bigger, a natural number that's bigger. So choose. This is called the Archimedean principle. So given any number, you can always find a natural number that is larger. So choose an n that is bigger than this, square root of 2 over epsilon. Then, for all little n, bigger than the square root of 2 over epsilon, bigger than n, sorry, <laughs> bigger than n, which is bigger than the square root of 2 over epsilon, so, so for all little n bigger than capital N, we're going to look at this distance here. We have the magnitude of 1 over n, n plus 1. We're basically doing the same thing again. You basically 
repeat the steps. It's just now you're writing the proof, so you're being more formal in the whole in the whole process. But it's the same thing. Um, so I'll skip some steps here. We know this is equal to square root of one over n squared plus one over n plus one squared. Right, just skipping some steps. We'll just skip from here to here, and we know that this is um, less than square root 1 over n squared plus 1 over n squared and that's equal to 2 over n squared which is equal to the square root of 2 over n and just to emphasize that everything is okay let's reiterate what we just did let's make it match so note this is the beautiful part n is bigger than capital n which is bigger than the square root of 2 over epsilon so that means that n is bigger than the square root of 2 over epsilon. So we want to work it out and solve for this. So that means that dividing by n, multiplying by epsilon, that would mean that, so multiplying by epsilon, we get epsilon bigger than, dividing by n, square root of 2 over n. So divide by n, multiply by epsilon. So it est, writing it again, square root of 2 over n, reading it backwards, square root of 2 over n, less than epsilon. So going back to our proof, thus, magnitude, 1 over n, just rewriting it here again, just for clarity, right? n, m plus 1. Clarity is really important. Math is really hard, and it's important to less than, to be as clear as possible, square root of 2 over n, and we explain why that's less than epsilon, and that completes our proof, my friends. So, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is learning some um, mathematical analysis. Take care.